Well, everyone, the time has finally come. As we boarded the plane to embark on our first Midwest adventure, something all of us have dreamed about our entire lives, I couldn't help but wonder the history behind the fish we are going to chase. Steelhead were first introduced into the Great Lakes in 1876. It's no secret that this species of rainbow trout has absolutely flourished in Michigan's waters. As Pacific Northwest anglers, it's amazing to go to a place where a species of fish that continues to struggle in our home waters have absolutely exploded in Michigan's rivers and streams. The steelhead introduced into Lake Michigan continue to spawn in small freshwater tributaries and streams, but now treat the entirely freshwater habitat of the Great Lakes as a surrogate ocean. Could these fish really be a true steelhead? Are these fish as chrome as ocean steelhead we have in the Pacific Northwest? Do these fish eat the same baits and lures as an ocean-bound steelhead? These were all questions that puzzled us addicts. The mission is to answer all these questions and more. Join us on the adventure and welcome to Michigan Steel. I think the most nerve wracking part of any, any uh, traveling trip or any sort of destination style of fishing uh, is the stress about getting there. You know, we picked a very, a very interesting time to try to come to the Midwest with a lot of rainstorms, a lot of snowstorms, a lot of winter events and stuff that will keep you from getting to whatever destination you want clear across the country. Well, everybody, it's really easy getting through the airport. We've made it. First class entertainment here. You ready, Sean? Yeah. Let's get some steel. Fish landed in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Now we're flying that much closer to Bermuda. Oh, sweet. But of course, in normal fashion, we finally get all the way to Chicago from Portland. And uh, of course, what do you know, our flight from Chicago to the destination in Michigan that we were headed to was delayed a couple hours because of that snow and that winter weather coming in. And uh, lo and behold, we finally didn't make it into town until about 11 o'clock at night. The GoPro full broke. That's a good people. way to start. We finally make it to Michigan. And we break. We're we're let's hope that's the only thing that's yeah. broken. Yeah, let's hope oh, our rods God. aren't broken. We're all masked up. We've been traveling safely in the COVID. Jordan, your suitcase. Isn't this yours, Jordan? Yes, it is Jordan. Yeah. Think of how cool this airport is. You get in there and they have boats in the airport. We're going to launch this in one of the little tiny creeks here in Michigan and chase after some steelhead. You ready? I call bow. Who's getting the first fish? Probably Cameron because he brought the special spawning. <laughs> so growing up in the Pacific Northwest, always been a dream of mine to come over here. So we decided let's plan this trip. Let's make it happen. And here we are. We're in Michigan, baby. So wake up that first morning, the sun's shining. Of course, our blinds are closed. I slept in quite a bit. We had to get our rental car. We had some stuff to take care of. But day one was, was the uh, do-it-yourself day. Uh, and, and as anybody knows, if you go to any destination fishery in the world, the do-it-yourself day is always the most trying uh, because you, are, you don't have a pot to piss in. You don't know where you're going. You don't know which way is north, south, east, west. And uh, especially in a place like this, you don't know what's private property. You don't know what's legal to fish. You don't know where the fish are, what, what species of fish are in that river or creek or, or whether or not there's even fish that exist. So I was so excited to see the first piece of water. You know, again, anytime you go to a new area or you travel, always walking down and seeing, getting the first sight on the water is one of the best moments that you can have when you're out adventuring, especially chasing steelhead. The moment has finally come. All the talking, all the thought, all the planning, all the flying. My ass is sore from sitting in the plane seat and the car seat and everything else. But we're here. We're on the river. It's not frozen. It looks sexy as heck. We followed the directions that our guide gave us and we finally showed up to the river. And I can't be more excited. Apparently there's a lot of fish in here. It's kind of the fun part of doing these traveling trips like this and, and going to all these different places is there's almost the anxiety along the way. 
you know, the thought process of, oh, is there going to be fish? Is there, is there going to be opportunity? Is the river going to be in good condition? Is there this? Is there that? And really, that final moment when you finally step on the water and get to the river, all that washes away. And the only thing that you can think about is getting that line in the water and getting it in front of a fish. So all things have come together. The planets are aligned. We got our buddy Fish Frey showing up this afternoon. He could maybe show us a thing or two, but Cam forgot the uh, spawnies. We forgot our energy drinks. We forgot all of our, our necessities, but you know what? We're here and we're fishing, so it's game time. Good enough to eat, huh? Immediately we could kind of tell that we were we brought a knife to a gunfight. It's a pretty big river, a lot of different big spawning beds and, and structure that I could tell was from like salmon spawning or something like that. But really fishy pockets and really fishy water. Isn't that crazy how literally he said that and I just had a bite right there? Marlon, as you were saying that, I was getting a bite right here and I was just telling the camera, I go, what are the odds of that? Really? Yeah, I was literally just going to say, I'm like, oh my gosh, you got a bite. Apparently they do work, everybody. Look at this. Everybody out here trying to be all sneaky. Running micro worms. On a shot line. We're catching on to you guys out here in Michigan. Thought you could hide, but you can't hide. I just snagged a rig off the bottom and it's the same little micro worm I was using. Well, trying to get that first one out of the way can be just a sometimes, I tell you what. But we finally got down. We're down finally to where we were supposed to go to begin with. Found our big staircase thing. Found some big, deep, boily water much more of like a holding winter kind of water. When we talk like winter water, I think a lot of people get confused sometimes unless you live in a place where you really fish for holdover winter steelhead. But like in the Northwest, we fish for fish that are coming in, spawning within a day, sometimes within two days or a week, and then they're leaving again. So it's uh, it can be a little bit different for somebody with our mentality, but what we're looking for in this in this winter water is something probably over at least six feet deep. Six feet deep, slower moving, that warmer water will be deeper in the water columns, obviously, because that'll sink to the bottom. The cold water will be on the top where the cold air is. So looking for those deeper, darker pockets with slower moving water. Really, sometimes it can be standing completely still. There won't even be any current at all. So it can be a little confusing for some anglers out there, but we're starting to pick it up. We finally found some good water. Now all we can do is just cast, cast, cast. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, we could, we can just, we can kind of mob down, fish a couple more of these pockets, and then go back up, and we could totally meet you at a different spot. So what's going on here is Fish Frey, our good friend from out here, or I shouldn't say good friend, new friend, is uh, on his way up from Southern Michigan, and Marlon's on the phone with him right now. Fish Frey calls me and he's like, "Hey, I can meet up with you guys around one or two if you guys want to link up." And so we're like, yeah, sweet, let's meet up with him. We were definitely feeling a little desperate at this point with how big the river was. So he had a few smaller creeks in mind. So we walked up the hill, met up with our buddy, and we headed to the next spot. All right, addicts. New game plan. We met up with Fish Frey. If you guys haven't checked out Fish Frey, he has some absolutely amazing bobber down and awesome steelhead content salmon content we're going to put a link to his youtube channel down in the description so make sure you guys go check out his youtube channel we're going to link up with him he's going to take us on some smaller stuff we kind of ran this first spot pretty good we did spoons worms jigs beads cameras running spawn sacks we ran a few different things but now we're going to go to some smaller water and see if we can find some fish so come join us Oh, I'm done. You're dead. I don't want to go any further. Oh God, that was dumb. Now I can't get up. I can't get up. I can't get up. Ah! Okay, okay. So we get to this little creek and we're standing up on the cliff and I'm walking down and I'm like, oh my gosh, now this looks like some Michigan Small creek, small river steelhead, even smaller than some of the rivers I fish. And I fish some pretty small stuff back at home, man. Oh, 
Hopefully there's a trailer. This might be the last you'll ever see of Jordan. Braid snuck us up on this devilishly sexy little creek here. And we got a nice little slot over here where he's pretty much guaranteeing there's a fish. So Marlon says, Jordan, you only get one cast. And so we know how that goes. But I kind of like it. It's going to be cool. Because mm -hmm. Marlon's got something different. Cam's got something different. I like, I like Do you use worms much? This, so. I got wax worms. I, wax worms are huge this time of year. If you want them, I got 250 of them. Do you use like, anything like this? Like what, what, what we oh, use in the Northwest? Oh, worms, worms. Okay. Yeah, I'll use, first of all, we don't use big worms like that very frequently on small creeks like this. You know, it's usually a small little mm -hmm, trout worm. Mm -hmm. But, no. It's probably because awesome. you can't really get them, right? I'm yeah. sure they might. I'm I, sure. I've never, you know. I've we seen always you guys. You guys are in my Walmart now. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> that wouldn't be my first choice in a small stream like this. Well, but you know, mine I, either. You, no, I haven't well, tried hey, it. So. To yeah, be perfectly yeah. honest, this wouldn't be my first choice in a yep. small creek like this either. But it's, I just was curious if you use much of them. But. Okay, well, let's sneak up here. So stay in the trees. Get one right along the, the fallen tree down that little slot. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Oh, that's a good first cast there. We go to the first spot and I miss like the perfect opportunity. I cast out, he tells me go up to the corner hole, there's a little bucket up there, you're gonna have a good chance at catching a fish. So I go up in there, first cast through with my pink worm, it's going through, drains, set the hook, I was tight to the bobber, everything, pull it back, Shredded worm. Dude, something took me for sure over here. I missed one addicts well, because I suck. Down, but uh, Frey came down, brown showed brown. us right where to go. A couple casts through, while we're down. Whiffer. Whiffed. My worm came back shredded. He's sitting right in that bucket. And then we literally run everything through that hole and don't get another bobber down. We're starting to get kind of discouraged at this point. It's, it's getting in the afternoon. We don't know if we're gonna be able to make it happen. And Fish Fray is like, hey, let's go to one more hole that I know on this creek where we'll have a good chance of catching a fish. So we headed to that next hole to see what we can do. Look at these spawnies that this guy makes. Look at that. It's like next level and they are so firm and nice and I popped one of the eggs with the hook because I'm a rookie at this. So this next spot was like your typical like community spot. You definitely tell there's a lot of guys that fish it but it's a super deep spot on this hole and so we're just sending bobbers through it. One, two, three, four. I mean all of us are just ripping this little tiny creek with everything that we have. Is there fish in this hole? Yeah. How many? I mean is there two? Is there 20? 15, okay, I just, really? Yeah. You yeah. really think there's that many of them sitting in here, huh? I think if, the water, if you could see, I think you'd see 10 wow. to 15, no doubt. So, standing up on the bridge, we're all BSing, and we'd been there for about 20, 30 minutes. Honestly, we were about to leave. Literally, the words were about to come out of our mouths, let's get out of here. And we're deep in conversation about some sort of fishing stuff, and I hear Cameron, and he can hear the startledness in his voice, he goes, I got one, I got a fish, I got a fish. That's fish, got him. Got him. Oh yeah. And we look down and sure enough, he's got a beautiful steelhead on the end of his line. Good job, Cam. Holy nice smoke. Nice job, Cam. Oh. I gotta get off this bridge though. Hell Here. yes. Here we go. Bring him down here, he said, Cam, once you get down here. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm hooked. I'm caught. Off the bridge. Oh, what is a good fish? It's a, really a big nice one, one, man. Oh, the real one. He's a little bigger than I got. I got like that light eight pound. I don't want to go nuts. And mono main line. Oh. Oh. Beauty, dude. That's a super nice fish. That's the one we want. If we're going to catch one fish, that's the one we want. Oh, don't, don't stop pressuring. Come on, baby. Light freaking line, you know, or creek fishing. He's just dog. He's he's just big enough that he can just dog me in there. Yeah. There he goes. He'll yeah. be done after this. Oh my god. 
There's not much in the way of snags, but yeah, I'm gonna you try to keep him here. You want to keep him here? Yeah, I'm gonna try to hold my ground here. He's coming down, back to your left. There. Oh no, 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 no. He just turned back. He turned back. He's coming up again. Yep, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my ground here on him. He's up here again. He's right here. Dog for a winter fish, dude. He's messing you up. Make sure you steal. About to get netted. Not yet. Not yet. Oh. 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 That's why we use nine foot nets in Washington. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. We actually got regulations on net length. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Oh my god, it won't quit, right? <laughs> Man, it's like he gets going the other way, I cannot bring his head back. He like, is just working you. Dude, it's just a cat and mouse got game him, right now. Got him. Give me that downstream turn. Yeah. 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 On the board, guys. Boy, <laughs> dude, his fish face spawn bait walks us to the hole. Here you go, get him. <laughs> There's your double stripe buck. There he is. Look at that oh, jaw. Look at, that. Look at him. <laughs> there it is, boys. Dude, look at the white tips. That is so beautiful. Look at that. We came, we saw, conquered. Oh, leopard. The thing that was really cool about this fish, and what I've noticed about a lot of fish in Michigan or in the Midwest in general, is it was so pretty looking. It looked more like a trout. Tons of spots all over it. Not as much like a steelhead as some of the ones we have at home. It really looked like a big rainbow trout. All right, guys. Well. Can we keep, could we keep this fish if we wanted to? Oh, yeah. oh well, I don't want to do that. No, problem. no man, nice big wild steelhead. We're gonna let him go. Here he goes. Sweet. Thank you, man. Sometimes everyone needs a little help. <laughs> Landing that first one definitely took the pressure off. You could kind of feel that tension just lift off of everybody. It turned out to be a huge one. I mean, for, for out here, it was an absolute beautiful fish. Had more spots on it than I think I'd seen on a steelhead in a long, long time awesome fish couldn't have asked for a better one to start the trip off and we decided all right we got a little bit more daylight left let's go to one more spot and kind of grind it out until dark and then we're excited for day two tomorrow so day number one's been a total success i can't wait for tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be on a jet boat we're going to be moving up and down really covering a lot more water and i think It'll give us the opportunity to kind of kind of try out a lot more different techniques. You know, these fish come from our homeland, so we want to see if our normal techniques from the Northwest work. So tomorrow's going to be an awesome day, and I can't wait to get lines wet. So day two starts out. We go and meet Kyle. It was our first time, my first time ever meeting him. So it was super exciting to get to again make another friend out here on the road. He invited us out to fish with him, which was definitely a pleasure. And uh, show up to the boat ramp and the stage was really set for an awesome day. All right, everyone, here we are, day two. A little bit different scenario. We're actually on a boat today. We're here with my friend Kyle. Kyle, you want to introduce yourself, tell him about your guide service? Yeah, I'm a full-time guide here in Northern Michigan. I guide salmon and steelhead trout trips, so. Awesome, I've been following Kyle for Oh, probably since you were like a kid, man. I think back when you were doing the kid. XXL Chrome, like <laughs> way back in the day, I remember following all your stuff. That's kind of like the inspiration for coming out here is I remember all of us used to share your pictures around, dude. Like you and your buddies, we would like text pictures like, look at what these guys are doing out in the Midwest. So we're here. Hopefully you can put us on some fish. Yeah, cool to link up. All right, dude, let's head it and go find some steelhead. So we head down river, we didn't get a whole lot further away from where we had been fishing the day before on foot, but definitely the second day brought the, the gun down to the gunfight uh, using that jet boat and he had an awesome setup, really cool little stealth craft that he was fishing in. We started off with a lot of the techniques that we thought would work from home. I was using a worm, Marlon had a jig on, uh, I think Cameron might have been running a spawn sack or something like that, but it was apparent pretty quick that we needed to stick to the guns of what they used out here. Started fishing just some awesome water, some real deep stuff and kind of fished it just a little differently than what we're kind of used to. What was that? That was a fish. Oh, it wasn't. Look good to me. Is that all, what, is that all the deep we are set? Yeah. That's a fish for sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guaranteed, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, that's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. That looked good to me. <laughs> well, I mean, I set the boat, but it didn't like even Trout. pretend to like act like it was a fish. Dude, it just, it just disappeared. It just went boom. 
Like five, ten more minutes, bro. Oh, that's a good drift. Oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> that was fishing so good. That's right where they got him, too. That's the deepest spot. You saw it go spot. down. Oh, yeah, that was I a good bobber down. Right up on the bank. Look good, it. dude. Look good. Shucks. Fish. Yep. Nice! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a jump What's it on? <laughs> what was it on? Oh, I don't know. On the bead. Uh, Dang it! You see a little trip leg jump? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! I Had him. I did so way fast enough. Damn it. I, just, I finally went deep enough. I've been going deep. I was right where his bobber went down, too, almost. So what do you know, as a normal bead fish, that thing came off. Uh, flipped out of the water, gave us a good little show, but it was that my first taste. It was my first bobber down. It was the first little, the little feeling of success out, throughout the trip. They, oh, oh my God, that was fish. You had one? Oh yeah, 100%. No way. I, I thought it was the bottom. The I started reeling back, I started reeling up, it was all whoomp, and it took off. <laughs> oh, that thing is smashed, dude. <laughs> that we end up losing a couple fish and i think we missed a bunch of bites kyle had us sitting over the top of like some really good steelhead runs like i said we were kind of maybe getting caught a little bit and being surprised by where we were getting bobber downs and how tight to cover they were and how tight to the timber they were at this point we can't blame anything on kyle it's all our fault yes he put us on fish, fish. and just suck there's fish here, but we just aren't putting it together. The, the cold has really lessened our reaction times. And um, that, that's, right, we're just gotta warm the hook set yep. a little bit. No, that's total BS, we just suck. <laughs> So the morning wore on, we kept missing fish, kept missing fish, kept miss, missing fish, getting good bobber downs, but it was still really cold. The wind started to blow and uh, we knew right away and I kind of knew in the back of my mind that we weren't really getting enough success in this little section. I could tell Kyle could, you know, was kind of giving off the vibe that we should be catching more fish in some of these holes. And so really quickly, he kind of decided and asked if we were okay with making a big move. And uh, so we sat down in the bottom of the boat and we hauled ass way down river until we got into some fishier water. It looks pretty good there. Looks terrible. Yeah. Put it on. Let's do it, boys. Now we're into some fresh ones. These ones down here are gonna have sea lice. Sea lice. Fish on. Yep, he's on. Fish on. Boy. Oh yeah. Working for him today. Dude, this fish is tearing you up. You got 13 and a half, 18, 19 foot rod. <laughs> Came down river a ways. Started up top and it was slow just picking away at him, but uh, hopefully we found paid. some chromers down here. Big move paid <laughs> off, man. You burned a lot of fuel. Yeah. Yep, I gotta put the miles on sometimes. You thought that this would all be ice. I did, it was a couple days ago. This whole lower river was ice down here, so. But we've just been kind of waiting. It was 10 degrees for about, I mean a high of 10 degrees during the day for about three weeks. So most of our rivers just locked up and we were real limited. So the stretches that were open were just getting hammered with people. As our buddy Phil says, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. You gotta risk you it for the biscuit. biscuit. You burn it down the river. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> This thing's messing you up. You haven't <laughs> seen it yet. We're about to see it, I think. I think he's getting. Oh, here we go. The bobber. I see the bobber. Feels decent. It's, yeah, it's definitely fighting you good. That'd be eight pounds there. Eight pounds? This fish <laughs> tore you up like this? That'd be shocked. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's got this 13 foot bait caster, and this fish is absolutely roping it and we think oh my god he's got a hog he's got a monster it's got to be something you know 15 plus pounds like the way this thing it's just it just will not come to the boat here we go going for the boat flip oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the colors on it. Hatchery nice fish do. And I'll be honest with you guys, the second he brought it up to the surface, I went, that's it? That fish tore you up. <laughs> oh, man. That fish tore you up like yeah. that, and that freaking 13 <laughs> foot stick. They rip, dude. That's yep. crazy. Yeah, they're that fighters. That was a misconception I had completely like, oh, you super cold water, super lethargic fish. The fish smoked you. Yep, it's just those deep, slow, deep, so, slow look, I mean, rides. seriously. I thought we were gonna nice see a 15 though. pound fish there, nice didn't fish. you? I thought it was gonna be bigger than that, I'm not gonna lie. It's a clipped fish too, look at that. Oh, I see a hen? Yeah. That's a bog. That's a bog. That's a bog, man. That's a bog, man. Oh, shit. Boy, get over here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a hen. Absolutely a hen. Little egg wagon, look at that thing. <laughs> Look at the sea lice on it. You're stupid. Sea lice. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, this is a typical spring fish probably just coming in, you know, he's, she's pretty just fresh. Kind of, so this is like your fresher ones. Yeah, she's um, probably hadn't been in here too long. Will they, is this about as chrome as they get? You'll no, you'll get a mirror, you mirror. Yeah, this get, time of year though, right now. Oh, you'll get some chrome ones too. Okay. You'll get them where they're blue backs. Like, oh, okay. So yeah, wow. there's some nice ones. But she's, not, she's been in here a minute, but not too bad. But yeah. So as we went down river, it seemed as, as we get to each hole, kind of like normal steelhead. I mean, these are obviously steelhead. Um, we were getting them within the first couple casts at every spot. So we roll up to the spot. I could tell it was beautiful. It reminded me a lot of like some of the Alaska rivers that we fish. A lot of wood structure, uh, real cut banks, grass along the sides, and just nice slow meandering pockets. And I send my first drift down through there in a hole that I, I, he was saying was super deep, you know, 10 to 15 feet. And I'm set at like five, six foot, and I go through there and my bobber just drains and pops right back up. Ooh. Oh, that was fishiest Maximus. I'm set at like, I'm set at like eight feet too. And I reel it back in and Kyle looks at my bobber and goes, oh God, that was, that was definitely a fish. So Marlon goes through, I slide my bobber stop a little bit further down, I set it down and he gets right to the edge of the log and boop, there she goes. There he is. Yep. That was 100%, dude, not even oh, an yeah. inch off. Oh, yeah. Ooh, with the crawler. Right there. There's some right logs there. to your right there, Jordan. Okay, keep it this way. Sweet, everybody. Right where went through there. That was like, said it like, he told us about 15 feet. I went through there like eight the first cast. He says, and eh, that was a fish. Went through there, deepened up a little bit after me and Marlon's debacle. Oh, she's ready. She's ready. This one must have been a little colder. And another one. Another egg wagon. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Is it a hatchery fish? All right. And do they clip all of them here? Nope. But most of them. So that could be a wild one, but it's uh, hard to say, but it looks like it is, though. So. Oh, look at it. She just choked on it. That hook, that mustad hook really did good there. Look at that. Oh, yes. What a beautiful little sweetheart. Oh, They're man. Nice and shiny. First one, guys. First Great Laker. Thank you, buddy. No problem. Man, man. that's what happens when you guys get some good friends. The Addicts community is a great place. You meet some awesome people and get to experience really neat things like this. Look at that snow belly. Wow. Like pearlescent. Yeah, it really is. Wow, sweet man. Let's give it five right here. Job, yeah. Man. Landing that first one was obviously a special moment. Traveled so many miles. And again, as I said, you know, it's such an amazing thing that we have uh, at Addicted and with our Addicted site and our, our YouTube and everything that Addicted is, the community that we are, uh, to be able to, to make friends and find like-minded individuals and people who truly love the outdoors. Man, it was a special moment and it one that kind of bonded me and Kyle for forever. You know, he was with me with, for my first Midwest steelhead ever. And you know, that's special. That's something I'm gonna take home with me after this for sure. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Dude, I think, you hear that sound out of his lungs? Oh. That was insane. Not right at the log. Yeah, dude, under the log. Wait, the bottle was on the log when it hit. That's what I thought. It looked like. It was <laughs> that was that must have been the the, <laughs> the line hitting the log. It must have been. <laughs> Sounds like he was sending out an AM signal. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh no! Oh, he broke off. No. Oh no. Oh.
Did he break or just What's pop? That? I don't know. Let's see. He, no. Is that hooked there? Oh yeah, it sounds like it. It is there. Popped ah. it. Fell off. Ah. Mm, that was a good one, man. Under the that log. Heavy. That was heavy. When you cast this, you want to have your. This is the easiest way to learn. So you want to have your hands shoulder length apart, and you want to make an upside down L with your left hand. Okay. Okay. Now, as you rotate and you go to swing, you want to keep your left hand straight off the reel because the line's going to shoot through your left hand. See how that worked? Right. Now, when you go to cast. Oh, so you gripped it with your left hand, too. Yep. Yep. So it'd just be like essentially like your okay. finger on a spinning, you sure. know, when you're casting. Oh, boy. Oh, that was cake. You made it look like cake. Give it a try. Oh, God. This thing, Here we go. This thing, <laughs> Here you go. In the trees. Just a little flip. Oh, look at this. All right, you're golden. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, wait. I'm not. Hold on. Michigan have a pretty good. We're not, we're not, we're not doing. Yeah, that's you good. just have that camera right on me now, bud. Gosh. Keep that left hand straight off the reel. Then just bring your shoulders left. Yep. Look where you're wanting to cast. There we go. <laughs> I'm, a Michigan I'm a Michigan pinner now. Got it out there, didn't hit the tree. Good drift. Didn't hook myself somehow. First cash I ever went to pound. Yeah, I know, I want to see if I hook one. That would be just nuts. <laughs> you just want your fingers just barely feathering that reel. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, in the tree. What's going on there, squirrel hunter? Oh, oh my God. we got it! <laughs> oh, there it is. Laid it out. Sweet. Just mm, right there. Laid it out there. Oh, oh. oh there's your update. <laughs> For sure, baby. Nice, <laughs> you got all the ice coming down. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh. Catch him up, catch him up, catch him up. Well, we've just kind of been uh, turning and burning today, just hitting spots, keep moving, keep moving, picking a couple fish here and there. Action hasn't been hot and heavy, but we've been picking away at them. So uh, the ice is going out. This was all, this stretch of river was all iced up a couple days ago. So uh, we got some, finally, some little bit warmer weather and it's breaking the ice up. So we're just going down as far as we can and this looking for some chromers. Theory though too. Yeah. First cast. Hey, yep. First last, cast. For, as other fish, first cast. I got bit the first cast on the one. It's just to a T exactly how it's been going all day. It's awesome. Yep. Just got to keep moving and finding the ones that want to play. And Kyle found one. Found one. Got it. Yeah. No. Oh, it's a nice no. one. Did it come off? No. Coming at us. Coming at us. Good work. Good work. Give me the one. Yeah! There we go. In the net. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ladies' night. Oh. 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 Nice. He's off. Well, spots. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Watch out. Watch out. Watch this. Watch out. Fish, fish, got yeah, fish. Baby. I got a fish, I got a fish. Oh, oh. Nope. Oh, it. <laughs> what sucks about so, that too is I had him court. I wonder if I broke him. Yeah. That was just gonna say when you hit him like that, sometimes if you clamp no. no oh, so like that's what I was gonna say, like when I hit him, I felt like I hit him about as hard as I would with a nor with you know a spinning rod or any gear, but then it just like dunk, just let go. Fish, fish, yeah, got fish. I got a fish, I got a fish, I got a fish. Oh! Nope. Oh, oh, dang it. <laughs> so when you first stick them like that, give them a little, you know, get that initial good hook set. And once he's head shaking, then just slip yeah. him back. Yep, feather him back a little bit. Oh, I never had a chance. Man, that was cool. But, gotta get it done. It's not horseshoes and hand grenades here, almost doesn't count. <laughs> They just smashed that little spawn bag, just squished it, just like that one this morning. About half the eggs left. Darn, almost got my first pinfish there, guys.
Cameron got a nice one on the pin, lost it. And uh, our guide, of course, he, he put the show on. Knowing the river himself, he put the show on, got a few nice fish in the boat. But we got three nice hens. We took those so that we could get some more row for the next day. And uh, we headed back up river into a beautiful sunset. And I must say, the, the main part that I loved about today the most was this being on that new water. The uh, the rivers out here in the Midwest are so unique. Being in these low woodland flats and this the style of trees and the sounds of the birds are different. And uh, I think, you know, every minute of the day that goes by, you kind of get to soak in that experience of being somewhere different and, and seeing something new around every corner. Middle of the river, huh? Yep. Once the on. waves calm down, you'll see. Ah. Oh, that looks good. Oh, 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 oh. That like just buried. We've got some adventures planned for tomorrow that we're gonna be a little bit different, but if we have to go back to that big river, um, things should only hopefully improve as the temperatures kind of keep, become mild and stay mild and that ice gets out of there. So hope, we're hoping that, you know, the next three days of fishing should be really good, so. So this float day is probably one of the days that all of us look forward to the most. Um, finally, somehow figured out how to get two rafts on the river. Luckily, uh, Kyle had a nice little drift boat. Frey had a pretty cool little raft. And uh, we hit the river and the minute that we pulled up, we crossed the bridge coming in here and automatically me, Cam and Marlon were just, just I mean, just chomping at the bit. Just, oh God, oh, 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 this is us, this is it. This is what we wanted. Knowing that going into it, we were ready to go right off the bat. We heard a really good report from this week on this river. And I was just chomping at the bit from the minute we hit the put in. Okay, day two is underway. We got boat number one versus boat number two. Gray boat versus gray boat. Hey, really, it's, it's not a verse. We're all out here to have fun. But it sounds like fishing has been fantastic on this river. I'm excited, this is much more up our alley. Really, it kind of reminds me of being in Alaska, doesn't it, Marlon? It does. It, it really, I mean, just, like I think the best part of this trip so far for me is, or any any trip where you go to a destination is just seeing the new rivers. Like, rivers are so fascinating and the structure and the, the country that they're in and the drives to get there, the different things you get to see. But day two is already starting off good. We haven't even casted yet. So we got two boats, we got one river. It's time to catch some steelhead. So we're rolling to the first hole, and Marlon hadn't got a fish up at this point, so I was in the back of the boat trying to, you know, make sure that he got some of the first casts into every hole. First cast he goes through, his bobber drains, and a whiff. And, you know, none of us have fished here before. They know there's a lot of wood, a lot of structure, so we weren't quite sure. And he reels back in, shows Kyle his depth, and Kyle's like, no, dude, that was a fish for sure. So we make about a good dozen casts through the hole, and I make one a little bit further across than I had so far. My bobber goes down river about 10, 15 feet and it just kind of lays over and I really, instantly I thought I was snagged. God So I start cussing, I start yanking, and then what do you know? It's a fish. Oh my <laughs> God! You really set the hook and you thought it was a So as this thing's jumping up out of the water and splashing and rolling, we're laughing and giggling. <laughs> And it turns out to be one of my best fish here in Michigan so far. So I'm sitting here. I'm let it go right under that tree. Fish, my ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I one was close under the tree there, but I went like a six inches deeper. It hits. It kind of just went down really slow, and I'm like, God dang it! And it takes off swimming. <laughs> this is a really nice one, dude. It did a little bend and twist for me. Double striper. Ooh. Oh, is that chicken? Man, that's a big fish. It's a brown. <laughs> it looks like a brown almost. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice Look one. Look at him, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Look at that, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. What is going on there? Just all scratched up. Probably from fighting each other's spawner or something. Sweet fish, man. Double striper, yeah. baby. 
It was absolutely beautiful. It had an incredible red stripe down the side. He was all scarred up from fighting over spawning beds. And uh, what a way to start the day. And it seemed to really be the prelim to the whole rest of the day. Started picking my way down, losing leaders left and right. Frey was kind of working some water, but we weren't really getting in any like really good clean bends that we can just kind of sit and work water. So we're just pocket fishing on the way down. Get around a corner, looked at a real nice pocket, said, screw it, I'm throwing in there. Set to about four feet, fired off to the side. Just kind of drifting along this little tiny wall, this little tiny edge and looked right in front of me and there's a big old slag pile between me and my bobber. And I went, oh, damn it. I'm like, I'm gonna lose another leader just flipped the bale to start to reel in and the bobber went down this hint honestly i assumed it was a freaking snag alive holy cow no 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 get out terrible oh, place dude terrible he's just, place he's just, holy cow look at this thing <laughs> did i just hook spun around frey freaked out i freaked out i think sean even freaked out too and uh the fight was on Get out of the wood, get out of the wood. He's in the wood, he's in the wood, he's in the wood, he's in the wood. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge, dude. I haven't been rallied like that from a steelhead in a long time, but he is in the wood. But there is, dude, what do you do with 10 pounds? It shoots straight upstream and gets right into one of these other slag piles that we're fishing. Keep in mind, like this whole bend was nothing but wood and stumps and trees and stuff laid over. And it was just, it was the worst case scenario to hook a fish that was that big. I don't know, man. He's still on there. It's brutal. Oh, oh. Brutal. Dude, just out of nowhere and absolutely rallied me. Holy cow. That's no winter time fight right there. That's oh, nice. there he went. Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. He's still there. Oh, there he is. Oh, big buck. Big, big buck. buck. Holy cow, did you see that? Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, keep that side pressure, and if we can keep him oh over here, we got a chance. It must dude. have been on another line, and it broke the other line. Get me in the bank. Get me in I'm the bank. anchoring. I'm going to get out. Yep. I'll get out to his neck. Oh no, 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 come on. It's like just the real light line. Keep the, we can walk him around the corner if you keep but the I don't, pressure. Look where he's at. I gotta just get him out. Yep. Oh no, 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 hey, we're gonna need to get him out. Oh, that's so get... brutal, man. We're gonna need to get him out. Okay. He's around, he's around. Pray, pray, pray. Oh no. Still feel awake? Oh yeah, he's still, no, he's still. Oh, this first case scenario. No! Fish shoots out, gets around the stump. I rode out halfway out into the middle of the river. The water was dark and kind of tannic and I was too afraid that I was gonna take one more step and that I was going to fall off the edge and really have a problem. So holding it out there, I yell for Frey to grab the raft. Put me in the raft and pull me that way and see if we can get it. Frey rolls the raft back over. I grab onto the front, pull myself in, and now we get to figure out the second mess. He's around the stuff and I think if I can just get above him. I saw the bobber come out on the other side. Do you know that log there? I'm going to try to let him swim back a little bit. Yep, I think he's he well on. Did I just get him out of there? Nope. I can still feel him on there. It's amazing he's still there, and I'm just praying so much right now. Oh my gosh, I just got him out. I just got him out. Get him left of it and go, go, go. him down. Go, 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 get out. Get over. Oh my gosh, I got him out. I got him out. Yep. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jump out. Right over that boulder. Oh, I can't see anything. He's right here. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's gone. Just... Get him in the net, yeah! Beast. Dude. Yes! Huge. Holy cow, man! What are the odds? What in the heck? Fishing this light line in this river with full, I mean just full of logs and just get a beast. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that from Michigan right there, you guys. That's an old war horse right there. Dude, the thing was a bruiser. <laughs> Holy cow, I've never been so excited to catch one in my life. I can't believe that ended dude, the way it did, I man. I believe it. Good job, man. Let's go, dude. Look at that hook. He just, he just oh, went. check that out. Let's see how it chewed up that hook was, uh, that oh hook was, uh, that hook was on its way out. Dude, 10 or eight pound test leader just in the timber twice. Dude, just feel this. It's just like, I mean, and then you get to the line. Oh my goodness, feel the line. I was praying. I was praying. How did that hold? Pure luck. Look at that. That spawny hook. I mean, just absolute battle. 
we pull the leader out and it's just shredded. My bumper is shredded, the eight pound line is shredded, and even the hook was bent. So I think whatever we were doing with that fish, it was on the maximum breaking point of all the gear, just on every piece coming down from the bobber that could have broke the hook, the leader, the bumper, anything. Fortunately, it all held together. We got to land an awesome Michigan fish, and I will never, ever the rest of my life say that Michigan fish don't fight hard. All right, guys, there he is for you guys. Epic battle. Frey made it happen. Trophy. I mean, as big as they get right here, and it happened for you guys on film. I'm so stoked for you guys. Super cool. The sun's on him. It's just the start. It's just the start of the float, too. We're like in like the second good bend, and we got like nine miles to go. But you know what? It's time to let him go. All right, dude. Look at him go. Oh, that's beautiful. Ray, my man. Oh, man. oh my gosh. Got him. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, give us another one. Give us another one. Oh, he's gonna come up. He's gonna come up. Oh, he's whooping my ass! <laughs> that was a heck of a jump, bud. We didn't get it on camera, but we right off the bat we had about four epic jumps. <laughs> she ain't done. She wants to give us a show. She looks, she's got charisma. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, do it for us. What I tell you? Oh, 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 the old citrus. Oh, oh she's going. Back. <laughs> she's headed back to the lake. She's going back to the ocean. Trying to catch that outgoing tide. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's a nice. That's bigger than we thought. She's got a great stripe on her. Oh, it's sliding me more wrong, dude. Yeah, that yeah, first yeah. jump, she did not look that color. Look at her. Right in the beak. Look one. at it, everybody. Jeez Louise, everybody. Look at that. So one thing that I was excited about with this river, like I said, was the brown trout. You know, Kyle had said, man, there's an opportunity to catch some really big brown trout in here. So I was excited to hopefully land a brown trout and a big brown trout at that. And finally, we get into this perfect little run and my bobber drains. Oh, epic brown jump, epic brown jump. Look at him, he's rolling on his... Look at him. Brown town. Oh, he's crazy. Brown town down. Brown town. Brown town, boys. Brown town. And I catch just probably like a, you know, 12 to 14 inch, just beautiful brown trout. One of the things I love about brown trout is just their colors. They're just a super unique fish, aggressive fish. And I was excited to be able to catch one out here in Michigan. All right, dude. Cool fish. Thanks for the fight. Uh oh. Are you serious, man? Part of the tail out. So I can honestly attest for probably all of us, but I haven't had to retie so many leaders. I know Cameron had about, I don't know, 15 to 30 leaders tied up on his leader feeder. And by the, by the time we caught up to him about an hour later at the beginning of the trip, because we were hopscotching a little bit, he was completely out of leaders already. It seemed to be about a 10 liter per fish sort of equation here. Once you break 10 things off, you'd finally hook one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was mending. Dude, I like shallowed up on that. Son of a gun. There he is. Got him, fish! There he is, I knew it. I knew it. Nice steelhead. Dude, crazy. Fish tried to be tricky. Oh, just popped off. Oh, man. Fish, fish! This one feels nice. Oh, oh! Yeah, good fish, good fish. Cromer. I might have to get around that. Oh, she's gonna go around that log. Look at that one. Oh, God. Under control? Under control. Just, there's a little, it's a little brushy over here. I think, I think I'm debating if I want to go over or down in the round. I think we'll probably swing back up. There she up goes, she's you. going back out. She's going back out. Perfect. She was that one was back in the run. 
Yeah. Yes. Boom, you guys. Spawn bagging. It's your spawn that's doing the work today. Not mine. Some Was Washington spawn for you. Some freshies there. Look at that. Sweet, guys. Another pretty steelhead. Put up a little tussle. Very pretty. That big eye on her, big fins. Still exciting though, watching bobbers go. Oh, okay, I'm gonna let you go, yeah. you wanna go. Woo I don't know if you gave her a full chance to fight. Holy smokes. Man, we've been grinding, guys. I know we caught that big one right out of the gate, but we've been putting in some water and I think I put about mm, 45 liters. Yep. Yeah, tragically in the river, but uh, holy smokes. Yep. It's been Let's about four hours since the big one happened and <laughs> perseverance is key. Son of a gun. But I think there's more fish in this hole, so we're gonna get back up top to the perch and you guys another one here. Oh, back to snags, perfect. <laughs> hey, he's got one up there. Where are you coming, half second? All right. I'm coming, boy! Oh, look at this one now. You call him an old dude, he's beautiful. Get in there. Oh! Hey. Nice. Look at that. He is pretty. Crazy color. Frank going and then cleaning up where I was fishing. Oh! He's got some teeth on him. Look at that. Oh, he bit you. Nasty steelhead oh. here in Michigan. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh he's right there. He might still be here in the mud. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. No, man, I don't care. Dude, look, the leader was wrapped around his lower jaw, and I was trying to, like, get the leader out from under so I could get the hook, and then he just... You were tailing him with confidence, and that was... That was probably my mistake. Kind of saw it coming, but whatever. I mean, you were injured, you were bleeding, I was panicking. It was just going Near down. Near-death situation there. It's been documented. It's, it's a success. <laughs> just strike it. So the spawnies were definitely dominating throughout the day and were really the go-to. Uh, you know, it got to the point where even Marlin had switched and just solely been fishing spawnies and we kind of gone away from our Northwest tactics. And we got to this one spot in particular and we anchor up and it was really fast flowing, like really, really turbid water and big boils. And the first thing that came into my mind was this is a spot like we'd see at home, something that I'd really want to drag a bead through. And I had my double bead set up with the, with the lured beads. I picked the old Mountain Dew, so I ran it up on that double setup got to the hole and I think that the fish actually hit it on the fall. I cast it in, that bobber started to sway down, started to go with the current and it just buried. Fish. Yep, got him, got him, got him. Boy, well, he's spunky too. Get ready, am I gonna jump? Is that a big brown? Is it a brown? No, it's steely. Right in that boil too, I just bounced it right off these gravel bars, when it fell in and just kind of started swimming away. I thought I was just hung up. Oh, he hit the old Mountain Dew. He got the old Mountain Dew. Yep, first cast of the bead. There we go, right? Oh, what a cool yeah. Seriously, he's got like that green color. Wow. That's a really cool looking fish. Look at that red cheek, dude. Beautiful. What an interesting color that one is, isn't it? Really cool colors. Wow. Mwah. See you later. And she's gone. Got him. Yep. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh. All right, here we are. Jordan's on another one, guys. Nice one. Ooh. Pretty man. In the net. Well, something to be said about that one, too, because that. Marlin's bobber was probably 10 feet in front of mine there and the only thing different that I'm doing is I'm snagging them. <laughs> no, but see here I had my sack but I also added one of our little addicted eggs. Just a Cherise pink one with a little anise scent on it. And obviously that had to be the only difference. You're, you were fishing the I think the only difference is guys, egg. I suck at fishing. Look at that pretty girl. There she is everybody. Whew. Nice fish. That was nice a really one. great bobber down too. Yes. 
I'm having some bad luck, guys. I'm struggling. I cannot, I luck. cannot make it happen. I went through there probably three or four times before Jordan did, and I, my bobber never even dabbled. He's still having fun. Exactly. Yeah. Still having fun. We're still laughing. Oh yeah, great time. Still a good time. So guys, what we got here, we're going. It's probably the easiest setup. It's something we use a lot at home, of course. I'm just running kind of my typical same setup I'd run with bobber and eggs or with a bead even. I'm just running about a four and a half foot leader number seven split shot right in the middle i got a couple i just got my slide slide float three number two split shots and then we're taking these spawnies i'm putting that little anise egg right on the shank of the hook and then just running that thing right through the bottom of the mesh oh just hanging it off and that's what's getting them right there that bead sliding down it just went marlon's just muffing them Dude, it's I all right this is the whole i can feel it it's gonna happen here I showed you how to rig it. Marlon's gonna show you how to do it. Don't watch me, addicts. We learn how to catch fish. Watch this guy right here. Come on. Come on. I'm not. Oh kidding. my God! I didn't even I'm move. Not <laughs> oh. I just cast through there and went just like this, Kyle. You <laughs> <laughs> had bounce. I just freaking. <laughs> it did the bob diggy bob diggy bang diggy bang diggy diggy. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Are you are you kidding me? That, that bobber came back up out it of the water. It shot up out of the water, yeah. <laughs> it had velocity. <laughs> oh my god. Well, so far it's been an awesome day. We're still working at Marlin's first, but I think it's really starting to build up to a big first. Something good's gonna happen to him, my man. I already know it. He's been a good guy lately. Oh! Again. But it's been an absolutely fantastic day so far. Frey and Cam have got some fish, we've got some fish, but the main man himself has it, and so I'm starting to worry. But again, I think there's something building here. I think I think something good's really gonna happen for my guy. Oh, there we go! That's a big first, that's a big first. Oh, that's a big first. oh he's a jumper! <laughs> oh, but if you can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun of? It's been an awesome day so far, but I think we got some steel in front of us for sure. The old tail out fish, huh? Ooh, that's chrome as heck, too. Fish in this hole for a minute, too. It's crazy. It's like... We gave it about three setups. Yep. That's That must be the key. We got to give it three setups first. You break off three lines, just snagging on stuff, and then you catch one. That's the rule. You got to donate some tech. Yeah. Pay the fish guys, right? Yep. Okay, we're back, everybody. Sorry about that. Our batteries died. We're not quite the same rig without our camera guy. We got him up to the boat, though. We worked him, we worked him, here he comes. Ooh, it's time. Nice. Big gnarly box. That is pretty though. What's on his face? <laughs> oh, he's got a big old hole in it. Wow, it's all bloody and stuff. From fighting? I don't know, digging? Yeah. Oh, he's heavy. Look at him. Just a bit of perfect. Big old gnarly teeth. That's all that's all that, that sacks off oh my before God. it died. Just a beaut. Way to go, bud. Yeah, I know. Let's get him out of here. He's got some chicks to fight over. There he goes. Shot right back. Eww. Got him. Sweet. It's been a few minutes, guys. It's probably been about an hour and a half or so since we got one. Been rolling up, losing as much gear as we possibly can. And uh, got up to a good hole. Really, that one kind of came unexpected. It was right at the end of the tail out. We were thinking well, the juice was right here in front of us. But as we were, like, real, that was literally on the rise. There must be a couple of reds or something down there. Yeah. That thing was beat up bad from from spawning. A lot of times those bucks can be super territorial, just like a mammal almost, and they'll be sitting there fighting over spawning gravel, fighting over hens. And that one had obviously been fighting for a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> He's been in here a while. Fish on gravel too. Yeah. Down the yeah, we did. We passed one just up river, went through a big section of river that looked like a lot of spawning territory. So, sweet. Back on the board. Got some momentum going. It's time to keep going. And it was kind of this progression down the river to where Cam had caught a fish, Kyle had caught a fish, Frey had caught a fish, Jordan had caught a fish, and I still had not got one. And so I just kept at it, persistence, kept trying to cast, never gave up. And then we pull into this one hole and Kyle literally, he looks at me, he goes, you're getting one in here, dude. This hole looks money. I flip my first cast out there. It gets probably another 20 yards below where the first bobber down was, drains, set the hook and I finally get my first taste of Michigan steelhead. Oh, like, it's a jumper. He's like, dude, you're getting one out of here. <laughs> I did. Oh, oh, the double stripe. 
Got a boy, Marlin. Yes. Oh. Ooh, tell America what you think about that. 12 inches. <laughs> we'll count it. We'll count it. It'll work. At least he peeled a little drag, huh? Got a boy. We got a fish He did it, guys. Finally got a little it. guy. Oh. Yee! That's a skipper if I All ever day of one. casting. And this guy Good decided job, to bite. Heck yeah. I immediately cast back out. You know, everyone else is kind of still in the water, hanging out, talking about my fish. It goes down, gets literally in the same zone where I hooked the other fish, bobber drains, set the hook, and this fish just goes crazy. Get it up! Jumping all over the place, running towards me, and this one was a lot bigger of a fish. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, He's on again. He came back with a vengeance. He's on it. Nice, dude. Right there, he says, right where I got a bobber down. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah dude. Look at it. It's a slunch funky. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woo. Oh, boy. The last Hail Mary, dude. Give me some. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Finally! I got a real one! You gotta let your car down, everybody. That's when you start having fun. Nice job, Marlin. It was kind of like a sigh of relief for me. You know, I had gone basically two and three quarters days without getting like a real steelhead. You know, this thing was probably eight, seven, eight pounds. Really nice fish. Super respectable steelhead here in Michigan. And so it felt really good to finally kind of get that weight lifted off my shoulders. I was starting to feel like, man, there's gonna be a lot of comments of Marlin not catching fish in this episode. It's a real one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Big brown? I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Fat little brown. All right, guys, we're down to the last couple holes. I think I'm down to my last couple hooks. It's been, <laughs> but it's been worth it. Marlin finally got on the board, which is good. Good to see. Finally, everybody's catching some fish here, and uh, it's about 2,000 miles from where we're used to. So, see what happens. So the day had worn down to an end. We had about a half hour of daylight left, and I'm sitting in my chair like a grandpa. I flip it off the side. It goes about 30 feet downriver, and that bobber just, I saw it like bob twice and I knew it was a fish of some sort. We were getting a lot of trout. Bops twice, goes under, and I just gave a real lazy hook set. Didn't really think it was much. And this beautiful fish just comes tailing up out of the water. Oh, he came up again. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> that was a good fish. Good job. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Wow. What a way to end it. One of the last holes, just dinking around. Honestly, I was contemplating not even retying. That was pretty sweet. How wonderful. Well, right in the finals of witching hour, Marlon had just called it. He said, this is the witching hour. And then, no, two seconds went by, that bobber went down. It's been such a great day for everybody. Everybody got to share the fun. Beautiful fish. fish. Beautiful fish. All day long, from, start, from the first hole to the last, we were on them. Again, big thanks to our buddies here, being such warm, warm guests and showing us their homeland, man. Doesn't get much better, I'm in love. I love it out here. I think we're, we're gonna be coming back for years to come. <laughs> Starting to get dark on us, so we started kind of pushing the rest of the way out. And overall, man, it was an amazing day. We caught a lot of fish, we caught a lot of trout, caught a lot of steelhead, and I cannot be more excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be back on the sled. We got melted ice, we got fresh steelhead, and we're in for a banger. So we got up that next morning and unbeknownst to me, we were gonna get our really first taste of how it is to fish in the Midwest in the wintertime. We'd gotten really spoiled up to this point. The weather was warm, conditions were nice, the sun was out every day, kept our line from freezing, but we show up to the boat ramp that next morning and just walking out to the car, you could already feel it was way colder than we'd experienced yet. We're back. 
<laughs> it's snowing. It's a beautiful day. It's a balmy 20 some degrees so far. Balmy. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's fishy today. We're, again, we're back on the bottom end of a river that finally thawed out just two days ago. So we're looking pretty good. All hopes are high today. Not a lot of people on the river. We got the brave souls out here. Started fishing that day, and of course, I told myself, you know, after getting a few fish the days before, I was like, I've got to get a fish on a pin. I, I had a taste of it on the second day where I hooked a fish just real briefly and popped off. Fish, fish, yeah, got a fish. Baby. I got a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> Nope. Oh, Dang it. <laughs> but I said, you know what? I left all my fishing rods in the back of the truck. I said, you know what? We're gonna just try to get this done today. All right, I didn't even bring a rod today, so I'm gonna see if we can actually get one on a pin. I was way too scared yesterday to try to <laughs> get one in that little tiny river. I was gonna spend more time in the trees. Here goes nothing. So right out of the gate, it was real apparent that obviously like the tough line and some of the braided lines that we'd also brought with us, it was pretty much impossible for them to use. It just wasn't being that effective. Yeah, it got pretty. So the ice finally chips off. Our gear finally starts actually fishing. I don't think we probably actually got an effective cast for the first hour. And we go through and the first couple of casts through Marlin got a bobber down. Obviously we're trying to get him a fish. But his bobber gets shot down and we all go back through the hole about five or six times and nothing happens. So I was really kind of focused on fish, trying to just be a little bit different than everybody. So I was putting those little anise eggs on. I put a fresh bonnie on, I send it through and I instantly got bit. Sure. That was a bite. So after missing that one, I was pulling my hair out. I knew that was a fish, just the way it went down. And I think you guys can probably tell in a lot of the video and a lot of the bobber downs, the way those bobbers get pulled under the water really kind of signifies whether or not it was a fish or not. You'll see that little bobble, you'll see the fish eating it, and then it'll get pulled under, and I knew I had missed one. So I went back in, I fired in two more casts, and then look what happened. Oh, there he is. Yep, got him. Sweet! That was the exact same spot. Wow, that's a nice fish, you guys. We went through there about three casts earlier and it bobbled down, Marlin got a bite. We think these fish might, one, just be waking up. It's finally got warm enough to where our guides aren't freezing, our line's not freezing. Ooh, ooh, he's working me. Definitely got a few bites though, as soon as it warmed up here. I've been camped out by the heater over here. Finally getting our real first taste of Midwest. Still heading here with the cold. And we're getting our first real taste of some Midwest chrome. Oh, oh no, nice dude. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at the shoulders on him. Look at that, everybody. Look at that fish. Kyle, thank you. Look at the red on him. That's a really pretty Dude, what a way to start the day. What a great, great lakes fish. Hatchery clipped. Now this fish has probably come back and forth a couple times, right? Yeah, I would say that. With this a, size. A nice adult fish. And just firm. Much more like what we're used to out west. Some of the older fish that we've been getting so far on this trip have been a little soft. You can tell they've been in the, in the fresh water or in the, in the warmer water a little bit longer, but thank you, buddy. What a freaking stud. Yeah, baby, what a way to start. Thank you. Great start. Woo! Great start to the day. They've been messing with us here. Cam got a bite, first cast. Marlon just got a couple bites. I missed one, and then finally one stuck. I actually let that one stay down a little bit longer. Let him eat it. Yeah, and he was still <laughs> barely hooked. So I think they must just be kind of mouthing it, I'm just sure barely grabbing it because of how cold it is. You wouldn't see a steelhead like that over where we're at. He was shape and just. Yeah, I couldn't grab his tail because he was just thick all the way to the tail. This was out of the fish we caught a couple days ago? Yeah. Did you brine it all? Well, we're taking turns setting hooks and, and uh, breaking leaders off. I just had myself a little hard boiled egg treat. If you guys have never tried this, we, we just learned this out here in Michigan. <laughs> this is a Midwest special. We do a little salt and pepper and a little Frank's Red Hot on some hard boiled eggs. And my God, you can run your buddy right out of the hotel room with that right there. <laughs> but it's good. You're on, you're on it's point. Delicious. On point with delicious. that. Delicious. But it's been a great morning so far. The wind's picking up, but it warmed up. Our guides aren't freezing up as bad. And uh, I'm on break right now. 
I think we're just gonna come across a little pot of them again. We still haven't gotten to some of the better holes that we fished the last couple days. Um, but I got a lot of confidence that really fresh fish was a nice little boat of confidence for us. I think hopefully that everything we find down here is probably gonna be that, that nice, right? Yeah, everything should be pretty pretty bright down here. And we, we, we are on the thaw. Like this river was frozen over the day before we came down here. So we're kind of best case scenario. We kind of got the place to ourselves and so Time will tell what's gonna happen today. I know the fish are probably just gonna come casually, so. What do you think, Marlon? Marlon's over here just soaking sacks. Soaking sacks. Got him? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Fish yep. Come on, baby! Ah! Ah! Nice. Homer! Boy. Oh! 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 He's ripping! He's kicking our butts! He's coming at me! Sean. Oh. The old skaplusher. Bloop. Holy moly, look at him head shaking. Oh, he's coming at us. Oh, he's coming at us. Here he goes. There he goes. He's in the anchor. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's coming around. Miss that down, Sean. Around. Around the horn. Oh. Going for the wood. Second he's just dogging me down there. Just trying to keep it low, just bring them back nice and slow. He's running eight pound, we've been having to work them. They're definitely with these colder temps, not uh, biting, biting fast. Gonna get, having to get it down in their face and just work them hard. Oh, no. <laughs> He's just dogging you, man. It's yeah. fucking like a damn Chinook. I mean, just, we're just gonna stay here. We're not gonna move. Come on, buddy. We gotta walk the dog. Oh, man. Nope. Oh, what a stretch. Oh, he's got two lights. <laughs> oh. He's all dog. I was like, just Where's your putting it to him, net? too. <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't get him. Oh. Come on, give me a head. Yeah, <laughs> nice job, Cam. Woo. Look at that. Nice, yeah. That's bigger than last one. Stud, dude. This is way longer. It's fat. Nice Cromer, baby. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish, dude. Yes. <laughs> nice. It's a nice shiny one. Oh, it's freaking beautiful. Send him home. Send him home. Hey, buddy. He gone. He gone. He gone. There you go, brother. Gone. Nice job, Kyle. Well done, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First pin raw, first pin fish in the jet boat here today. Nice. Two quality, guys. That was two of the best fish we've caught so far, which we kind of, you, you expected that coming down here. And we Blue. knew they were gonna be good fish. Get yep. away from those colored fish that we've been getting. Not a lot down here, but the ones, we, ones we're getting are quality. Nice, right? nice big males, chrome, so good fish down here. Take those all day. So the wind got to blow and it kind of kicked our butts. We couldn't fish that bottom end of the river anymore. We were down kind of closer to a wide open space, closer to a lake. So that wind really started to hook as that sun came out and it started to warm up. So we decided to make a big run up river and make a change and try to get into some water where we could effectively fish. That's a fish. Oh, you did them from them. Did you have one? Yes, 100%. Damn it. Damn it. What? I was right in the middle, dude. So Marlon breaks off, Cam breaks off, then Kyle goes through and breaks off, and then I knew I was in for the power play. All the other players were on the bench. I hopped up on the back of the boat, fired one in there right where I had just missed that fish, and bloop, bobber down. Yep, got him. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> oh, dude, nice one. Jordan, be careful, bro. There's some snags in there. We gotta drop back. There's like a big log right by where he's at. I'm gonna take him to the other side. Knew I'd missed that one. So guys, I just see, it's the only bobber that went through there twice. Yeah, I, I went through there the first time. I just had, it was just definite. It went down, I kind of bounced twice, came back up by the time I said hook. This is another just quality buck. We're all retiring. <laughs> that was a power play for sure. For all you Midwesterners out there, they pulled the goalie, they sent their best player to the bench, and I came in. I just slap shotted it from halfway to half court. 
Oh, just, I mean, twin to the last one, too. We're ready. Other side. Yeah. Beautiful. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. Not a spot on that fish. So cool looking. Look at that. Wow, what an awesome steelhead. That's the, the most Northwest looking one we've got so far. That second fish that day was probably my very favorite one. Had no spots on it, big kipey jaw, just absolutely fresh out of the lake. And God, it was just, it's something that's gonna stick in my head forever. So cool looking. All right, bud, see you later. Thanks. Got him. Well, two casts ago, had a bite in the same spot. Worked it a little bit, got back in there finally, and he came back for it. Two casts later. Oh no. Did he touch it? Oh no. He got in something, dude. Oh, he came out, he came out. He was just in a log. <laughs> he came out of it though. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Seven pounds. A little, little chrome torpedo. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Barrel rolling, man. Making me nervous. Really trying to spit the hook. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a hen. The hen is a hen. Ooh. I only found a hen. Beautiful fish. Look at how shiny she is. And a bazillion spots this time. Yeah, how different compared to the I last mean, one. look at the lateral line on that. Look at that line of spots. From right here, you guys, you see that? Just that definition, just right where she gets all sparkly there. Two in one hole. Finally. It's been picking a fish here and there for the last few days, really. It's been finding more than one's been tough, but got a couple here, a male and a female. Nice Man, pair. First hen of the day, and what a perfect one. Goodness, look at that shot. Good, perfect head. fish to harvest for some spawn. We obviously, you know, have some a lot of natural reproduction that goes on here, too. And but this is a perfect fish to uh, get some fresh bait. You guys see how it's fin clipped, just like we'd see out in the Northwest. Clip those fins before they release them, so it's the best choice, indeed. Yep, choice. Phew. So I was super jealous of Cam. He was the first one to jump on the pin, and I knew once he started getting going on it, he was going to start dialing it in. And so we were all kind of rooting for him the whole time. We knew that we knew that he was going to end up getting an opportunity on it, and he's an experienced fisherman. He knows how to fish well, but it was just fun to see a different method get fished by your friend. What the? Oh, yeah. fish! Oh my! God, did you see that mother? Almost pooped it out. Oh, dude, his bobber's going for point, for point, As we go along through the day, it keeps getting chances. And with that 13 foot rod, every time you'd hear that, you'd know something cool is about to happen. He's either breaking off or it was a fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yep. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh no! Oh, what's happening here, folks? What are they doing wrong? Comment below. Oh, you got two really good head like, shakes. Bop up, bop up. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. Oh. What is up? It's Almost. Pin. That's three chances with the pinner. So I was quickly thinking about regretting my decision on only bringing my pin rod, because like I said, Kyle and Jordan caught some beautiful chrome fish and I'd missed all my opportunities. As we were getting down to the end of the day, I could tell the temperatures were up and Kyle was moving fast. He was checking a lot of spots out for us and we were fishing this spot, moving, fishing this spot, moving. You know, kind of playing the cards that the temps had come up and the fish might be a little more active and a little more receptive to our presentations. When we, like right when we got to the hole, we'd get a strike. So we finally pull in this one spot, we get our gear out, it's just Marlon and I fishing and we had our gear set to like 12 feet deep. Of course, with that center pin rod and that 13 foot rod, I'm fishing a 12 foot deep fixed float. Of course, go down the line. First cast through the run is just perfectly beautiful. It was like clockwork, bobber drain. I swung up to set to feel the head shake again. 
And this time I was hoping it didn't come off. It's a fish. Nice. It's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, we got one. It's a fish. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. We might oh have to, my gosh. We might have to reel up. First pin fish. Well, first one that's actually stayed on for more than five seconds. Come on. Come on, baby. Man. I know. It's like fishing with a giant rubber band. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. And then when she ran, it's, you know, just instinctively like using the fingers as the drag thing. That's what I was most afraid of on that first run. I'd break them off. But she's still on there. You're a natural. I don't want to say that. <laughs> Look natural. It was all natural. Bobber's here. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, this one's going to get nasty, I think. Oh, just like all the other Whoa, 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 baby. That's a good fish. First cast again. I mean, yeah. that has been Dude, but so. That's what so typical this whole time but that's why kyle these last like seven eight spots it's been like just go 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 search 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 and he's putting it putting in the time today on a kind hardly of a hit the ground day. on that one right we got 12 feet Low we got right. 12 feet. Yep. yeah oh this is nerve-wracking everybody <laughs> tell me about the, it the tension in the air is thick tell me about it couldn't cut this tension with a gerber knife and he's right he's completely right kind of working his way back in I just do this is like max though, man. I don't. It's hard because it's such a long lead, but you just try to keep pulling. There we go. Oh. Just take your time. Close. <laughs> We're giving Marlon time to, to double up. That's what's happening. That would be so That's sick. it. There you go. And there he is. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go back. Oh, oh. So much line. Yep. I yep. Know. Good move. Good move. There you go. Yep. Now we got him. We got to use the whole length of the boat. Yes! Big old hand, man. Big old hatchery hand. Oh, yes. Look at that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo -hoo! Thank you, man. Well done, that was man. so sick. Awesome, man. Yes. Got a good hand. Nice yeah. fish. Nice. First pin fish, and it's just a freaking slunch. Dime, man. Look how Every fat those things are. Dime. Good job, dude. Look at her. Wow. Yes. Good job, buddy. There it is. Good job, Cameron. Yeah. Woo. Look at the sea lice. Sea lice oh. all over. It's just super fresh, guys. Hard fighter. Oh, that was great. Dude. Snow belly, man. The colors are just so defined, too. It's really neat. So stoked. Worked for it, Kyle. We worked yeah. for it, man. That's such a beautiful fish. You know what I mean, Cam? You see what I'm talking about? This line of the sparkle? Dude, it's just like, it's they're, so they're unique. not, they're, yeah, unique. They're not the same, I mean, at all, to like, I mean, yeah, they're just a cool, I mean, they're just a, they're just steelhead, but a cool version of steelhead. I'm even more tripped out about the one with no spots now. Well, it's all boiled down to this, you guys. Going for the last two holes of the day. Trying to get the one more Hail Mary fish. It's been fantastic so far. Bitter cold this morning. We fought through it. Fought through it till our guides quit freezing. Started off hot with a couple of nice big fish. Finished it off good with one really good pin fish, but we got two more holes left. I'm gonna try to get the man himself a fish before we're gone here. Or just at least one more thing that'll tug on our line. Needless to say, it's been a great trip so far. We've been busting our butts out here to bring you guys an awesome video. We really hope you've enjoyed it so far. So be sure to comment below, give a like, and definitely, if you haven't already done so, check out Frey and check out XXL Chrome Chasing. Kyle and, and Frey both are, are uh, chipping away at their YouTube game and doing an awesome job at catching fish out here in the Midwest. While the sun set, and the eagles were flying over and the wind calmed down. It kind of brought the entire day to an end and it really kind of unfolded in perfect form. We got some of the nicest fish of the trip. All of them were chrome fresh out of the lake and it was just an absolutely perfect day.
for this last day of steelhead fishing, what we really wanted to do, we told Kyle, hey man, we want to do something different. We want to do something completely out of the box. And so we were staying at a hotel in Traverse City and we decided, Kyle said, hey, if we drive three or four hours south, we're gonna have an opportunity at some good fish on a completely different river. He's like, I don't run it very much, but it'll be a fun river to go take my sled on. So I'm like, dude, let's do it. We'll do it. We'll wake up super early. We'll send it down there and we'll go check out that river. What's underneath here, Kyle, in this compartment? There's like a breaker for it. That's what it sounds like to me. Try one more time. What the f is that? Man. It sounds like... I've never had an issue with the anchor. Whatever's clicking is, I can feel it, Kyle. It's something yeah. right here. A lot of guys are saying power connections at the battery. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Was there something loose on there? I don't know. I just cinched it all down. <laughs> <laughs> your, 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 your points in there look. So we had a little technical difficulty, but Perfect. we put all our brains together and figured it out. We We're just hit it little... real hard with a hammer. <laughs> that's what, that's right where it started, man. I took my pliers and started hitting stuff, but we figured it out. It's time to go get some fish. God, you guys, I can't even leave the. Countryside and not have this happen. Yeah, we're gonna fish, so that we're, we're gonna do what we talked about last time. <sighs> okay, we want to send Washington. Crisis averted, guys. But we are going to be fishing Washington gear today. I know you guys have watched the last few days, and we've been dabbling with it. But we figured the last day out here, and the conditions couldn't be any more ideal to give it a shot. So we're gonna. You can see everyone's feverishly working here to try to get. Uh, basically, like I said, the Washington gear jigs. We brought some. Uh, some prawn today too, which is gonna, as you guys know from a lot of our videos, we fish a lot of prawn and stuff like that tipped on our jig. So what the hell, what do you think? I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work today. I think I think if we get in there with our stuff before Kyle can get in there with his stuff, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> right. We got nothing to lose. We've already caught a ton of fish here up state. I mean, it's, we can't, we gotta do it. We have to do it. That's hey, what we're here for. for yourself, dude. <laughs> You've caught plenty. <laughs> I don't know about that. One thing that we did that not very many people do out here that we know of was we used prawn. So we used raw prawn meat from, you know, your local grocery store. And we told Kyle, like, man, I don't know why it wouldn't work. They like crawdads. They like all that stuff. Why wouldn't they eat prawn? Little Addicted Secret Series, 16th ounce, tiny. Little chunk of meat right there. Just, boop, game over. All three of us are lined up right here, jigging, prawning, guys. And if we don't get it done, we're gonna fleece this spot. And if we don't get it done, I think Maggie's gonna come in right behind us with a spawn sack and show us what's up, so. First drift, oh my God, did you see that? No. I absolutely, absolutely, oh my oh, gosh! Oh, that was, no! That was a bobble. No, he, he hit it once too. Is there trout in here? No. <laughs> There's no trout in here. No. Oh my oh, gosh. I'm like, four or five, I'm not that deep because I'm kind of chicken because I don't want to lose my stuff. I can't believe that happened. I was kind of in the gimme room for this trip, again, because I hadn't caught very many steel. And if you guys don't know what the gimme room is, basically my buddies, my good friends that I enjoyed this Michigan trip on with, they were letting me get first, second cast through these holes because I hadn't caught very many steelhead yet. So I got my prawn out, I got a red Sink It Series jig, cast it out there, send it down through, it's going through. Oh my God, dude, that was like trouty as it gets. Right, Just ding, 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 ding. Bobber drains, pops back up before I can even set the hook. And I'm like, what in the heck? You know, so I reel in, I reel in. Next thing you know, here comes Cam's bobber. Fish go to the big one on the prod, baby! Yes! There it is! Get it out of there! Second cast! Oh my God! Second cast, Oh my God! Yes! Oh, oh baby! Oh. Oh, there it is! That was not even the same fish! Dude, it was, no, the my other bike was here. down there. No, well, it wasn't the same was fish. Right oh my god. Right there it is, guys. Sorry, Mags. Oh, I had to get that one from you. I didn't want to let her into the hole yet. It was going to be over. Oh, yeah. Holy Where's smokes. That? Way down in the pocket. Yeah, I'm doubling. Oh my gosh. Right. It's a stud, too, and I'm using really light line again. Eight pound. 
Marlon just here. got bit. I just got bit, dude. He's oh! 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 Did you see that, you guys? You're welcome, bud. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm excited about it. Oh, look at that fish. Oh my god, that's a huge good camera. One. It's got two stripes. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, that's a nice fish. Oh! Oh, he is gone. He is gone. Yes! Dude. Oh, yeah, boys. There it is, oh, yeah, you guys. Boys. Little center pin washing action. Look at this fish, you guys. Holy cow. Look at that camera. Dude. Yeah, Holy cow. Wow. Well, that's a stud. That's a stud fish. Kyle. Putting it on yeah, it again, man. dude. <laughs> on the prong, baby. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Instantly, man. I mean, I made two drifts through there. I had Bobber Downs on both drifts. Uh, that's it. There you go. It works. End of story. End of story. Yep. Look at that. Addicted Sink It series, 16th ounce, right? Just pinned in the corner. Oh my goodness. Well, once again, Kyle McClellan putting us on big fish. That looks like a Washington fish though. Look at that blue iridescent though again, but. There you go. Ooh, ooh. Yes! Go! Oh. Fish, oh, fish on! Fish on! Fish, fish on. on! Yes! Marlon did it! Big ah. frog, dude! Come on. I'm the prawn, baby. Oh, the prawn. There was time. Oh, I thought even nicer one. Oh, my God. That fish swam out and bit that prawn right away again. No, I'm just kidding. You ready, Kyle? I'm bringing to you. There he is. I earned that one, didn't I? Yeah, he's been... Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that hand. What a fatty. Look at her. Look at that fish. Slimy little guy. Super unique fish. It had these, it had these really interesting like nose on it. Just super, super unique fish. We decided to bonk it because Kyle needs some fresh roe, wants to eat some steelhead that night for dinner. So we decided to take that fish and harvest it. And we continue on with our day. The rest of the trip, we're gonna continue to do this, kind of run the prawns, run the jigs, and then run the sack behind it to see if we can get bit on that. And that's exactly what we did on the next few holes down. So one thing we were super sad about you know, on this trip was for some reason Sean was just on the beat up train. Like every he could not do anything without just getting hammered. So one day he's getting he's at the gas station, he's walking out, he steps out of the gas station, just eats it and smashes his elbow on, on the side of the suburban. Very next day, landing the drone, uh, cuts his finger on the drone. I know man. Sean, Sean. Sean almost dies again. There's been five people walk across that shelf ice. He steps foot on it. Smited! He's like the, he's like the lightest, he's like the smallest dude, too. Michigan doesn't like you, bud. Oh, God. Just the overall whole entire trip, it just seemed like Sean was getting picked on by Michigan. I wasn't the only one being unlucky. Sean was getting unlucky, too. So I went into day five kind of telling Kyle, Man, I really want to get Sean a fish. I want to make sure he catches a first Michigan steelhead as well. So in one of the perfect holes, Kyle was like, this is going to be a guarantee hole. Let's have Sean fish it. Come on, Sean. Get your first Michigan steel here. Oh, there it is. Nope. Oh, yeah. oh hey, hey. Real. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean, you got fish on, bud. First. <laughs> First Michigan steelhead. On easy, time. easy, easy. That's a big fish. Good work, Sean. Fish on, buddy. Bags the net job. Here it comes. Just messing you up, bud. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh. Oh. Nice job. Oh, right. Oh, you're right. Yep. Just walk it around, Sean. Walk it right back to you. This, walk him this is what we like yeah. to call the steelhead shuffle. <laughs> awesome. 
Get him, John. Get him, John. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, solid. Oh, go, 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 go. Get him, Max. Get him, Max. Let's go. Let's go. Nice work, Sean. There you go, Sean. Nice. First oh, Michigan steal, buddy. Look at that thing. Ooh, it's pretty. All right, Sean. Let's let your first Michigan steelhead go, dude. Nice work. Let this little buddy go. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Sean. It turns out this was actually gonna end up being my day on this river because we get into like, I think two or three holes down and I put a fresh prawn on my jig, set it out to the depth that Kyle tells me, I run it through, it's coming behind the spawn sack and behind another jig. And then, it, you know, I continue to let it run. It runs probably another 20 feet down, I would say, and just completely buries. Boom, set the hook. Prawn, jig prawn, jig prawn. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> he feels the power. Feels the power of the Okuma X Rod. Look at that, Kyle. The sink it right in his face. Get a nice little steelhead and you know, barely a steelhead, kind of a super small one, but had some really, really beautiful colors on him. And it came on the red sink it series again. So that jig worked well out here in Michigan. Little guy. See you later, little dude. All right, everyone, so we pulled into our third hole of the day here. We have gotten a couple more fish. It's turning out it's going to be a real good day, it, it seems like. And I'm stoked because the sink it jigs have been working. Black and red, got the old addicted float. We got Matt, Sean was your spawn, Sean was on a spawny, huh? Yep, so we got one on spawny, oh a few on jigs. Oh my God. It's going down. Think this will work? I don't know, man. Careful. You guys are the ice masters. The ice is gonna crack into two pieces. And you're gonna. Yeah, that's <laughs> not gonna work. That's a hard no on that one. Uh, uh, all right, anyways. Oh, 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 did you oh, see God. that, dude? He was running with it. Fast. It's all. I don't know what I'm going through there, and he don't want nothing. I cannot believe that fish hit his bobber that hard on the first pass through there, and completely airballed it. Not like it's his fault; he was on it. But man, the fish grabbed it down real fast and missed it. So we know he's sitting in there, but they are just being super finicky. Quite a challenge. What was that? All right, addicts. So we've been running a few different jigs through there with prawn. Kyle's been running spawnies. We tried a few different things, and now I'm gonna try a worm. We're gonna see if we can get, maybe oh. he wants something a little bit more aggressive here. So far, we have not got a single fish on a worm this weekend, or this week since we've been here. And I would really like for it to happen right about now. I'm gonna cut it just a little smaller, not give it a full four. It's all about the tug, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's tugging. Oh, that's a sign, it's a sign I think. I just don't want the worms here, even though I didn't get a single good drift through there. Well, we fished a few spots down here. We found some fish, we had to frog through some holes and it uh, wasn't hot and heavy, but we just picked away at a few. So we're gonna head back upstream a ways and try a couple spots on our way back up and see if we can't find a couple. Beautiful day out here though. We've had a great time. So got some nice fish as well. Kyle absolutely busted his ass trying to get his fish. He had that boat going over logs, in between stuff, breaking branches, going over ice sheets. 
just to potentially get us into other opportunities to catch some more of these beautiful steelhead. I mean, it speaks volumes to his character and how tough and willing of a fisherman he is. He was an absolute pleasure to fish with for a few days, super knowledgeable, taught us a bunch of things, got me on my first few pin fish. I mean, I can't thank him enough and it was an incredible, awesome experience fishing with him. I think we're definitely going to be fishing with Kyle a lot more in the future. We're already talking plans, getting him out here into the Northwest to fish with us. And he's doing some stuff down in Tennessee as well that we're kind of already baking some future trips to hopefully get down to Tennessee and fish with him. So huge shout out to Kyle and make sure you check both those guys out in the description. We're going to have links to the guide service, links to the YouTube channel. You know, please addicts, do me a favor, go over there, hit them up, come out here, plan your own little Michigan adventure because uh, it's well worth it. These steelhead are badass. As yet another out-of-state adventure comes to a close, I can't help but think about the power and beauty of these Midwest steelhead. Before we went on our trip to Michigan, all we heard from people was, these fish aren't real steelhead. These fish can't put up a good fight. These fish aren't chrome like Pacific Northwest steelhead. Nothing but a trout. All of which were just plain wrong. These Michigan steelhead were big, powerful, chrome, and very similar to our Pacific Northwest fish. I'll never forget how hard that first Midwest fish I hooked fought. It was jumping nonstop, making epic runs and putting up a fight to match any steelhead I've ever caught at home. This was a bucket list trip for us. We had goals, one being just to catch a steelhead, two being catch a steelhead with a center pin rod, and third, debunk everything we heard about these magnificent fish. The verdict is in. These Midwest steelhead are real steelhead. They fight the same, they look the same, they eat the same, they spawn the same. These fish are steelhead. I challenge you addicts to get over to the Midwest and see for yourself. Pick one of the great states around the Great Lakes with runs of steelhead and go on an adventure. Gather some friends and experience exactly what we did. I promise you will not be sorry. Before we end this video, we have to say thanks so much to the friendly people of Michigan. They were so welcoming to us and it was awesome to see. Especially thanks to Kyle and Frey for showing us around their special waters. Without a doubt, we will be back to chase Midwest Steelhead again, so stay tuned.